In the last few episodes, we've been talking about self-soothing techniques to help you navigate trauma and come back home to yourself. In this episode, I invite you to do another self-soothing technique right here, right now. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious or you just need some time to yourself, you are in the right place and keep on listening. Hi, my beautiful friends. Welcome to the Danielle Shea podcast. My name is Danielle Shea and I'm your host and I'm a healing coach for sexual assault survivors and a lived experienced expert. That means that I'm a survivor too and my mission is to ensure that all survivors know healing is possible. This platform along with my coaching programs are all designed to turn survivors into thrivers. I want you to live a joyful and fulfilled life and if you're ready for some healing, let's dive into today's episode. In the episode earlier this week, we talked about six self-soothing techniques to help you navigate trauma and move forward in your healing. In the last episode, we did a meditation technique to incorporate some of those self-soothing techniques. You incorporated deep breathing, you incorporated mindfulness meditation, you incorporated progressive muscle relaxation, and you also incorporated visualization. What we did not cover in that episode was journaling and self-reflection, and that is exactly what this episode is for. I love giving you an episode where we talk about things intellectually and theoretically that you can say, okay, that makes sense. I feel like I understand why this might be helpful for healing from trauma. And then I love giving you episodes that are actually going to incorporate the things that we learned, which is why there's always a meditation and always a journaling prompt episode to go along with the things that we learn and talk about. Because I don't know about you, but there's so much information out there that it feels very easy not to take action, but taking action is, well, that's where the healing happens. That's where life happens when you actually do the things. So that's why I'm so passionate about making sure that you have action item episodes in this podcast so you can really take advantage of the information that you are learning so you can go out there and live a joyful and fulfilled life. That's my whole spiel. I want you to heal from trauma, reclaim your power, and live a joyful and fulfilled life because you deserve it. And it's possible. Healing is possible. I know that because I've walked my own healing journey and I want to help others do that as well. So that's why I'm here. And I'm happy that you're here too. So thanks. Thanks for showing up for today. Let's get into some journaling prompts. If you're ready, grab your favorite journaling modality, make yourself a delicious beverage, and let's get started. So let's first start with reflecting on the meditation. So if you haven't done that, please go back and do the meditation and then come back to this episode. This is journaling prompt number one. I invite you to reflect on your breathing. How did your breathing during the guided breathing exercise impact your sense of calm and presence? Then I also invite you to reflect on what is your breathing right now? How does it differ from the breathing you did during the meditation? And how does that breathing connect to how you're feeling as well?
journaling prompt number two. Now I invite you to reflect on the progressive muscle relaxation that you did during the meditation. Did you notice any lingering sensations from this exercise? How does this heightened awareness of your body make you feel? Take some time to consider this. Journaling prompt number three. Explore your experience with journaling. This is kind of meta because you're journaling and now you're reflecting on journaling. But we talk about journaling as a tool so often that it's important to understand how do you actually feel about it? Is it actually helpful? How is it contributing to your self reflection and connecting with your inner self? Take a moment to think about this. Journaling prompt number four. Let's set some intentions for moving forward. What intentions or commitments can you make to yourself as you navigate your trauma recovery journey? Maybe it's taking this week to incorporate one self soothing technique. Maybe it's reaching out for support, either with me in a one on one session 
or with others or a friend or a family member. Maybe it's making a plan to be nicer to yourself, to be kinder to yourself. What are things that you'd like to do to move forward and navigate your trauma recovery experience? Congratulations, you just finished four journaling prompts designed for self-reflection, and that's what you did. Please take your time with these prompts. Yes, there is a set amount of time to the music that I allow for these episodes, but that's just so these aren't, you know, hours and hours long. So take your time. If you need more time, you can always pause the episode. You can always come back to it. You can do one and leave the rest whatever feels good for you. Allow your thoughts and feelings to just flow on the page of your journal. And remember that no one has to see this besides you. So be open and honest and vulnerable, just you and your pages. Also remember that this is a process of self-discovery and healing, which means that it's a process. It's going to continue to evolve and there isn't necessarily a destination. Doing this work is going to help you heal and support you. It's going to allow you to connect to yourself and build self-awareness, which is just an important life skill. And you're showing up and doing these things. That's incredible. You're incredible. So remember to be gentle with your incredible self. And know that you're on the path towards resilience, well-being, joy and fulfill this. Thanks for being here. I'll talk to you next time. Wow, that was incredible. Did you get as much out of listening to that as I did in creating it? I hope you did. I hope you found it helpful and powerful, and I hope that it allowed you to take action and choose yourself today. If you found this to be helpful, please share this with someone who needs to hear this message as well because we don't need to heal alone. Thank you so much for choosing yourself today and for listening. I'll see you next time.